Hi, I'm Bob Riddell. You know some of the strangest things grow out of the earth when you travel to the other side of weird. Ah, yes. In this lovely garden, you'll find plenty of peace. A peace here, a peace there. All victims of Peter D'Amato's carnivorous plants. A lot of them are pretty vicious. You know, some of these plants can get large enough to eat rats and worms and things. So. And they just pig out. You know, they lure lots of insects. So how many plants do you have here? How many different species? Uh, we know we have probably the largest collection in the world that's on public display. California Carnivores sells at least 700 different varieties of bug-eating plants. We have all the American pitcher plants, butterworts. This is a whole bunch of Venus fly traps. Mm. <laughs> ah. uh, <laughs> the sundews are perhaps the most disgusting. <laughs> You know, oh. it's not what you think. This is glue the plants secrete to catch their prey. The tentacles bend over and smother it to death. Hey, little fella, thirsty? Check out the old pitcher plant. There you can get wasted before getting wasted. Insects drink nectar on the, on the pitcher, and then they get very drunk and intoxicated from drugs that are in the nectar before they topple down into the pitcher. <laughs> Whoops, Sorry, you okay? And then they're fairly rapidly digested. Yum. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do an autopsy on this old pitcher. Oh, but I need the scissors. How do you ask? <laughs> All right. <laughs> scissors. <laughs> scissors. Look at that. Ugh. You can see there's all these dried shells of house flies, blue bottle flies. Looks like there's some moths. Keep going. You might find Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah. <laughs> And over here we have a variety Well, when these start walking, I'm uh, getting out of the business. <laughs> Don't forget, you can always visit us at NBC11.com. Until the next Other Side of Weird, I'm Bob Riddell, NBC11 News.